Recognizing artists' achievements for their creativity and mastery goes back to such venues as the Paris Salon. Beginning in 1725, it was the official art exhibition of the Académie des Beaux-Arts in Paris. Between 1748 and 1890, it was the greatest annual or biannual event in the Western world. This tradition continues today at the Herberger Theater, a premier performance venue in downtown Phoenix where some of the top artists perform. Art is being celebrated and awarded at a Maricopa Community College art event called Artists of Promise. Welcome to Spirit of the Arts. I'm your host, Andrea Sakshevsky. <laughs> Maricopa students take center stage and are honored at the annual Artists of Promise Talent Showcase. The Maricopa Community College's Chancellor Award winners feature performances from students in the visual arts, choreography, creative writing, theater, and music. The award for the art form of acting goes to Alexis Brevieska. But you ended up being the exact same guy that I perpetually date, and it just kind of freaks me out a little. I have been acting since I was 11 years old, and it's funny because I actually didn't want to start off being an actress. My dad heard me telling jokes in the shower to myself and made me sign up for drama club. I feel that with the power of acting, you're able to not only um, connect with imaginary characters and, and bring them to life, but also sort of comfort those who see see themselves in the in those roles. The program at GCC has helped shape me as an actor in ways that I never thought possible. I don't think I would be here today without um, my wonderful instructors. Alexis plans to pursue her dream of acting and continue her education in New York. The award for the art form of singing goes to John Mosby. I've grown up singing. I had family who has always been singing. Uh, my grandmother, uh, from my mother's side, uh, was very famous in the Philippines from singing. Being in choir a year or two ago, that I really started to fall in love with like opera and musical theater. John studied under the direction of Marcus Denton and Dr. Jeffrey Stevens. What they've helped me do is just really gain clarity and control over my voice. John believes anyone can sing. Because that's all singing really is. It's just speaking on extended uh, speaking really uh, so it doesn't matter what age you are or how the quality of your voice like I said it's a learnable thing so as long as you've got a passion for it. John plans to continue his education to become a teacher and continue performing. <laughs> the award for the art form of ceramics goes to Vitura Brandis. She incorporates her love of nature and her memories of growing up in Romania. I grew up like in a farm with animals around me, with plants, with flowers, and all the time, you know, these childhood memories come back to me and actually they bring me a, a you know, a wonderful desire to express. Linda is a great teacher. I cannot express my gratitude that I have her like a teacher and uh, as a teacher and uh, her encouragement and, you know, her advice. The awards for the creative writing were given at Mesa Community College as part of the Artist of Promise. Philip Boddy won first place for his nonfiction essay. He tells a story about his time at Camp Pendleton and describes what he likes about writing. So you take nothing, think of your imagination, and you make a concrete art piece out of it something that could be turned into a screenplay. He's constantly scribbling his thoughts on paper and looks at life like a movie, looking at things visually and listening to sounds. Another winner in the art form of creative writing goes to Valerie Neal in poetry. She describes her favorite part of writing poetry. When suddenly the metaphor comes together and it takes on another life. Instruction through the community colleges help to elevate art to a whole new level. May these students' work continue to inspire current and future artists. If you were inspired by the talent of these artists, perhaps you might consider taking classes. For more information, go to maricopa.edu. Thanks so much for joining us on this edition of Spirit of the Arts. I'm your host, Andrea Zakshevsky.